All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on wherever you're from. For me, it's good afternoon from Pattaya, Thailand. Um, I'm still extremely happy to be here. I did make a little change though, so I left the Hard Rock Hotel and I came to, I hope I say this right, Arika Lodge. Um, it's literally right by Tree Town. Honestly, I think that location-wise, it's a lot better. Um, I'll actually show myself walking out of here and show you like just how much stuff there is right away right when you walk out of the lobby um i found a place that had uh food and i'll have to see what else they have there uh but there's a lot of stuff you'll see you'll see in the video but anyway it, it's um definitely more basic than the hard rock but with the hard rock you're also paying more money for it too so i had to do something a little bit more long term um and also the location i'm happy to be here location wise so um anyway here's a quick room tour so this is the door, you walk in, you have a closet to your right. <clears throat> All I need really. You have the bathroom to your left, your sink, so you can get your hair did, whatever you gotta do. Toilet of course, you have a shower. So again, it's basic but it's very clean. So that's all I need. Um, you actually have a nice size fridge though. That's actually really cool. So plenty of water in there. I'll have to ask if that's included or not. Actually, no, it looks like it says 30 baht on there. All right, there's my luggage. I believe this is a queen size bed, but I literally just checked in, but it actually seems really comfortable though from what I can tell. I don't know what you want to call this, sofa, recliner, couch thingy. Looks kind of cool though. Then you have your basic little balcony here. The AC unit. Now on this one, keep in mind you do have to put your room key in to uh, get the AC going. So honestly here I haven't ever had really any issues with it being like extremely hot. And put in uh, Phuket is like man your room would get so muggy and humid that you really wanted it but yeah honestly it's a basic room but it has everything you need um, it's very clean from first glance it's very very clean um, that's my big thing for me has your water okay here's a complimentary water so here's the water that's included um, just like every other place coffee and tea you have a water heater warmer thing um, <laughs> In case you have company, they sell that to you. <laughs> um, yeah, a little stool for uh, work, which I'll be using that a lot for video editing. But yeah, it's a nice room, it's basic, but um, like I said, cleanliness is big for me. So um, anyway, I'll show myself walking out later on. I'll pass by the pool. Um, the breakfast is included in this one too. Um, I'll update you all with breakfast, but yeah. If this works out though, this could be a long-term stay for me. So. Um, possibly early next week I'll go to immigration and extend my stay um, until the end of October um, but we'll see but yeah if that goes well then I can extend somewhere and ask for monthly rates which should be a lot cheaper but um, I'll put the rate for what I got this room for online including breakfast and um, you know including the breakfast it's actually not too bad it's about a third of the price of what Harder Rock rates would have been for their basic room so yeah it's it's a lot better for me financially but like i said um location wise too so anyway um, just a quick room tour we will do a walk out around this area um later on and i'll show you how close it is to everything and i'll probably get some lunch in a little bit so yeah catch y'all in a bit all right so i was literally about to upload my videos into my editing software and start editing and i wanted to give one quick update the room i got at the rika lodge or rika lodge whatever it's called apparently there's two towers i'm in the older tower um i guess if you get the room that says plus next to it that's the newer tower i really don't know how much more it was i literally just clicked the f the first room that they offered me um it had breakfast included but apparently the newer tower is um well newer a lot newer so that's one thing but i heard it is actually worth it um 
the Wi-Fi has been iffy earlier today. Now it's a little bit better, but it's still very spotty. Um, so I'm not sure, I mean, how the new tower looks, but apparently it's, it's there. And that's why there's two pools. One's from the old tower. And in the bigger one that I showed second in this video is the, the new pool to the new tower. One other update I want to provide real quick is the shower tub. Um, here, let me turn it sideways so you can see. This literally goes up to, if I can get it there, there we go. It goes up to my knee. So anyone that has bad knee problems or a disability or anything, just think about that too, um, because it could be a pain. All right, so as promised, here is a view of the pool. It's a small pool but water looks really clean. It's actually closed right now. I said it's closed uh, for water treatment. So it might be why no one's in here. But um, yeah, it's, it's a small pool, but it's, it's all right. Um, Sky Fitness, so that'd be their fitness room. Okay, I was actually mistaken earlier. That's their second pool. So this is the other pool. I believe this is where they serve their breakfast in the morning. Um, it's including breakfast. Looks like it'd be right here. Cause I can see all the self-serve stuff right there. All right, now here's their lobby. It's actually a really nice lobby. All right, and this is pretty much what you see right when you walk outside of the of the lobby so there's definitely stuff around here so it looks like that luck bar is open probably for food only here I'll show you the hotel real quick Sarika Lodge however you say that so like I said I'm right outside of it you walk out here you definitely find some stuff to do right away. So at least your stuff walking distance away if you don't feel like going far from your hotel. We're gonna go this way because it looks like there's a lot more stuff this way. And then if everything was open right now, I've already seen like three or four bars where you'd easily be able to get a drink. So that's definitely around here during normal times. So that diner's closed right now. There's a pharmacy. So LK Metro. So keep in mind I was there yesterday. So I'll probably stop by in that area and get a coffee in a little bit, but I need to get some food. It's um, three o'clock and I haven't eaten anything. I didn't even get breakfast this morning at the uh, Hard Rock before checking out. So I need to go get some, uh, some food first. Oh, and unfortunately I have to go to an ATM again. <laughs> I hate using the ATM because they get you so bad. But again, with the, um, oh, that's actually another option that I was looking at. Um, LK Metropole. That's another hotel. Here, let me show that one. So when I checked out, like, in this area in Treetown, this was another option that came up. So, oh, here's something. Um, junior room, air conditioner, furniture, free Wi-Fi, 9,500 a month. So something to think about for anyone that's going to be out here long term or more than a month I should say but yeah let me get out of the way before I get run over but yeah that's another one LK Metropole <laughs> hey 
Area 51 Sports Bar, it's closed down. 7-Eleven, super convenient. And I just passed by a couple ATMs, I actually might um, check out the rates right now. I mean, it's inevitable, I'm gonna have to, so. Yeah, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. I'm gonna check the ATM rates. All right, one good thing that happened is like, before this trip, I planned um, saving up a, like a lot of cash money, like cash tips and everything. And I saved up for a few months and um, I put it into a separate bank account just with cash tips. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to use it out here for whatever reason, like it wasn't compatible with a lot of ATMs or whatever. I was able to access it on this other one. So that kind of helped out. Well, anyway, hope you like this walk around. Here's a name I've heard a lot before. Obviously, I'll close down. What you're seeing a lot of right now, I think, is um, you're seeing a lot of like the street vendors that kind of relocated themselves to where everyone's at right now. So they know no one's in walking street. They know that there's other places that are dead, you know? Like Soy Honey only had a few massage parlors open. Everything else literally was closed. So I think that the street vendors actually relocated themselves to where there's business at right now. So you're kind of seeing that too so there's certain times where you're seeing a lot of uh, street vendors which hey i hope they make their money that's good and as you can probably tell by the uh <laughs> by the shouts from massage you know those are those are open and in full effect you are a guy, especially a parang, and you're here, you will have 100% of their attention, guaranteed. So I passed by here uh, last night. It was in my uh, video from yesterday, but now we're in tree time again. Don't worry guys, I'll venture out next time. really need to get some food so all right I'm gonna find somewhere to eat and I will be back in a little bit all right I just turned around basically went all the way down and then turned around and came right back so kind of I want to eat at a little hole in the wall spot today and support a small business so just looking at the right thing that catches my my eye but again, everything over here is closed though. Right there in Treetown area where the little t tents are and the umbrellas, you can find some stuff open right there. So it will probably be my best bet. All right, so I ended up eating inside of the food court. Um, still very reasonable. Um, I got the chicken egg fried rice and a mango pineapple smoothie. It was a pretty big smoothie too. Uh, it was 120 baht, so I'll do the uh, I'll do the calculations and put them on the screen. But it was a very good price. Now, of course, if you get street food, if you get all these little other um, you know, carts that were off the side instead of the main food court. I mean, you probably could get cheaper food, but that was pretty reasonable for what I got. So the food is good, simple meal, but one of my favorites. And then the, you know, the smoothie. So overall, I'm happy. I'm gonna go get a coffee now um, because they're changing rooms and everything. And then I didn't go to sleep pretty late. So I wanted to sleep in, I missed um, breakfast where I normally get a coffee. So 
So I'm going to go ahead and get some coffee right now. So I'll catch up with you on a bit. So it's about 8.30 p.m. How's this for uh, Pattaya right now? LK Metro, 8.30 p.m. Nothing, everything's shut down. I am, uh, yeah, I just don't even know what to say about it. Wow. All right, so I made it back to my hotel from LK Metro. Honestly, it's like a two minute walk. It's a really quick walk. Um, I can probably throw a rock and hit one of the bars in LK Metro. It's that close. Um, from Tree Town, it took about five or six minutes by walking. Again, not really bad. Um, but yeah, to show you how it looks right now, I mean, there's my hotel. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, what is about 8.40 right now? And, yeah, that's how it is right now. So, I don't know. When you speak to people, there's a lot of optimism that things, hopefully, on October 1st, maybe some stuff might be lifted. Honestly, I have no idea. Um, we can only hope. But, yeah, it is what it is. Um, other than that, I had a great day again. Um, I didn't do much, but I hit up some of the spots I like to go to. Um, I did have to move hotels, but everything went well. Um, I'll give you all an update on this hotel and what I think about it. Um, and if it's worth it, you know, location-wise, I love it. But we got to see how the actual hotel is. Um, and I'll give you all an update in a couple days. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, like I always ask, please hit the like button if I've brought any value to you. Um, let me know any areas or any places that you'd like me to pass by today and or while I'm here and I'll, I'll be happy to check it out, try to film if I can. Um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Other than that, just make today count. Um, every day is a blessing. Every day is a whole new day where you can go after your dreams, after your goals. Just make it happen. Thank you so much. Yeah.